it's just, uh, it's got me caught up because this is uh, what I've dreamed of since I was a little boy, to be a world champion wrestler. Um, and today I did it. I, I, I knew that. I manifested this this year and put it in my head, visualizing every day. I, I, I prayed to wrestle the guys I wrestled today and I overcome them. Uh, and, it, and it happened kind of the way that I wanted it to. I know nobody wants to have three world champions in, in straight in a row, but uh, to be the best, you have to beat the best. And I want the best when they're the best. So that's that's my philosophy about it. And uh, I'm just so thankful first to uh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I'm a strong uh, Orthodox Christian, and uh, you know this means a lot to me. Uh, and just something that. I, I want to just be able to give my medal and, and, and belt, you know, too, because of that. And, uh, but also, I, I want to dedicate my, my uh, gold medal to my, my uh, Baba Zagor Kamichich, who passed away a few weeks ago before I came to the World Championships. And uh, actually, what she, my nickname from her was Golden Boy. So for me, that goes a long way. She's been in my corner and always supporting me. So, um, you know, I dedicate that to her. You're wearing probably right now the Serbian flag on your shoulder. What you can say about that? Can you say some, something is, Serbian? Uh, I just want to say follow, follow Puno, Shivai Serbia. I'm just follow Bolgo. I, I'm just so happy right now. I, I Sorry, my Serbian is not the best right at this moment, but uh, I'm just like, you know, so grateful, so thankful. And, you know, Serbia is such a part of my my blood, and this this means so much to me, my heart, my my ancestors, my heritage, and I couldn't be happier to dedicate. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier to give this like this gold medal, you know, for the Serbian people as well. So, yeah. Stevan, you, your Serbian is great. Your wrestling is great. You're great. Thank you very much for everything you showed. Thank you guys. Thank you. Can I have one more. Yeah. Uh, can you describe uh, this last, let's say, uh, one minute? Wow. You know, uh, th this match was a lot different than my other ones. You know, Higuchi is a totally different wrestler than the two, uh, you know, Albacarov and uh, Ubuya beforehand. Uh, he takes a lot of attacks, so the match was a lot more, I felt like, you know, it can explode in, in, at any second. You know, someone can score on somebody else. So I had to really shut him down to win. And, uh, you know, I, I was scared, but I wasn't thinking about how much time was left anything. I just was going to try and wrestle. Um, especially in that end, end of the defensive sequence, I knew, hey, I'm not going to get taken down here. I'm priding myself in this, this that I've been working on so hard. So. After the first period, uh, what did your papa say to you? Uh, we, you know, he, we were just talking, I guess, about just like what, I need, what adjustments I need to make. And my tata just told me he was like, you know, you have to... You're the better wrestler than him. You need to you need to go and start moving him more and, and actually take take position in the match. And I felt like I did a really good job transitioning into that. Even though he scored right in the beginning of the period, I was able to battle through, score a takedown, score a turn, and, and or gain gain control on top. Um, so I, I knew at the half. I told my dad, I, I'm gonna this is gonna be my best three minutes of wrestling. So I meant it. The house is full tonight. Uh, did you hear an audience? Yeah, I did. I heard everybody cheering for me. Um, you know, I can't imagine how it would be being Higuchi tonight, having to, you know, wrestle against this. And you know, I'm very thankful to wrestle him. He's a, he's a tough opponent. I look forward to wrestling him in the future next year in the Olympic Games. Thank you very much, Kevin. Thank you. Kevin, talk about talk about the Olympics. Uh, a bit. What did it What does it mean for you to go to your second Olympics and to go wow. there as a as a world champion? You know, before this tournament, I, I it was actually pretty tough to just like. You know, put this all into perspective. I did. I wanted to not think as much on Paris as I did this tournament. But everybody's here. Uh, you know, all the best wrestlers are here now. There was no excuses that Russia wasn't here. Um, and I guess when it comes down to it, I, I just was so locked in on that that I didn't think anything of the Olympics. But you know, I, I just kept progressing, doing such a good job in my matches that it just was like, hey, you know, you're, you're here for the games and. Uh, Paris is something that uh, I know I need some time off now, but it's something I'm going to need to assess uh, because, you know, Tokyo didn't go the way I wanted it to. I felt sick and I didn't manage my weight very well. Um, you know, now this is two times I've made weight and medal uh, at 57, gold, bronze and gold. So I really have to make sure that we do the proper training for, for Paris to treat it you know, 
know, because this is another chance of something that I, I may, may, may not ever have, have this happen again, so I've got to make this, this count. Talk us through that last sequence. You said you felt confident there. What gave you confidence that you had um, to Well, I, I knew the way that I was blocking him out uh, was good, so I knew that I wasn't too nervous about, like, him getting in something too scary that I couldn't defend. I felt like I, I did a pretty good job blocking him off right away, but his tactics for me, because of my, my stance and my length, he wanted to, to be able to cut me back or run through doubles, and I, I didn't really feel comfortable like pushing on his, I just felt that he could come up, so I felt better you know, with my ankle wizard defense, um, keeping it low, um, and, and I knew where I was in the, in, with the mat being there, so I could keep kind of either keep it grounded. Honestly, I thought that was probably a point at least, but I had five seconds left, so I'm not going to complain being up three. So, you know, one point is still risky with five seconds. Thank you guys. Devon will be available after the press conference. Huh? Come back.